Pilaf is back for the first video of the decade. Ah, and you know what that means? We are back in the roaring 20s, my dear, the era of Gatsby. And are we about to have a fabulous time painting our faces just so that we can seem presentable to the outside public? So buckle up, baby cakes, because I'm going to take you on a wild ride where I show you how to glow for the heavens. Let's get to it. Now, some of my social platforms, mainly being TikTok, are always gonna be reading me for having a handsome haircut. But what they forget is, in the 1920s, all those stunning women, they have beautiful little cuts like mine where they could do some good old finger waves. Now, I've never attempted a finger wave before, but I've not attempted a lot of things before. So what I have is some styling gel and just a comb, and I'm gonna see if I can bust this out. Now, I have watched the video. I will link it in the description. That beautiful masterpiece of a human being, she just, she did it like it was effortless. And I hope that I can achieve the same Thing. Now that a part of my hair like it's a red sea, I'm just gonna go in with this disgusting feeling goop on my hair in the hopes that it can one hold down these curves, but also in the hopes that like it just it is able to form those magnificent waves. Because even though the only curves I have on my body so far are my scoliosis, I think that I might be able to bust out the cutest looking hairdo with enough determination and tears. This looks absolutely disgusting. I, I hate this with an absolute burning passion. This looks horrific. I, I don't, I don't vibe this. I, okay. Now after a lot of hassle, I was able to come up with something like this. It doesn't look as perfect as I wanted to, but at the same time, for a first attempt, I'm not too mad. So the way that I did it was cry a lot. I just put gel everywhere. That is absolutely filthy. I would rather go jump in a dumpster than deal with this. Again, make sure that your scalp is just like, hey, I'd really like to breathe right now. This isn't gonna be a legitimate tutorial into doing finger waves because I, in all honesty, have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just following as many steps as that beautiful goddess in my description below has shown me. Now that my hair is curved as much as my spine is, it's time to go on with the rest of the tutorials. Most of the makeups I've seen throughout history when it comes to the 20s is it's very simple, very light, but still very va va -voom. So we're gonna try and go for that. So there's not too many steps for this, but at the same time, we're here to just have a bit of fun. Nothing too outlandish, nothing too like tea worthy, except like I wouldn't mind having a little cup of tea with y'all. Okay, so we are just gonna get ourselves some sand stick. We are gonna get ourselves some foundation. PLAF has yet to go shopping for any kind of foundation that actually matches our skin tone but that's okay because we're gonna make it work anyway I call it sin stick because I am not allowed to possess any sin on my skin and sin on the skin is very objective in the way of you get to choose what you don't like about your face other people try but at the same time just tell them to shove off now you can use a sponge if you want you can use a brush if you want I don't really mind I just prefer the brush because I find it so much easier to clean and like as I've said in many a tutorial I am a messy little goddess I don't even know what kind of brush this is what are you this is a buffer brush so I'm just gonna be buffing in this yellow as all high heaven foundation that definitely does not match my skin tone. So usually for my welcome makeups, I use either my Holy Grail makeups palette, my conspiracy palette, or my Jawbreaker palette. But I've looked through all the colors and they're just too va va voom for the look that I wanna do today. So we are going back in time for me. Like this is, this is cringe worthy. And I'm sorry that I'm gonna be doing this to you, but I'm going back to my chocolate bar palette, which I got like maybe six years ago. And I know that that is disgusting. And I know that I'm gonna get a lot of people read me in the comments, but it's got the colors that I need, and you can you can see how old and crusty dusty like my skin it is. So I'm gonna be using this palette, and I think as soon as I use this palette, I'm throwing her out. We're just gonna be doing a cute little pop of champagne all over our eyelid. The way that I'm gonna do it, cat, come on, try film over here. This is absolutely disgusting. Am I just am I really about to put this on my face? Okay, if I get conjunctivitis because of this, we all know why. Okay, so to start off with, we've got this shade called White Chocolate. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid to really like set this cakey, greasy foundation and concealer that I have acquired for myself. I would not recommend these if I just, I just don't like them. They do not suit my skin texture. I do not like the feeling of feeling slimy. And I do not like the feeling of if I was to hug someone right now, it would just be straight up like my face getting transferred onto that beautiful jacket. And like, I do not want to be ruining anyone's couture or anyone's fashion right now. I just, I want to look like a perfect little lady. So once that Hannah Sweetness is on my lids, I'm going to be going for this color called Marzipan. She's a cute little like 
champagne-ish kind of color and I'm just gonna be putting her all over because looking at looking at the beautiful women from like way back when they've all got really simple eye looks but they always have a cute little pop a shimmer just enough for people to be like wow ain't she an absolute stunner now that we pop that champagne all over our lids like we are a beautiful angel cake we are gonna go in with a darker shade so I think so I think we are just gonna go in with this color called hazelnut just to like really buff out like my outer corner just so that we can add a bit of depth I'm going for all shimmer shades today because as I said what I can see from the past like going on good old Google images is that their eye looks are quite simple there's nothing too like outrageous about it it's just something nice something light something dusty but also got a bit of a got a bit got a bit of a va va boom to it so I don't want to do anything too extreme now that that is nice and buffed out I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm gonna add an even darker shade just really really like thicken that up make it a little bit more dense make my eyes a little bit wider a little bit brighter so that people are just like oh who is that so I'm gonna go in with this gilded ganache I don't know what that means but like she sounds all right so I'm just gonna go in with some gilded ganache all of that sounds super tasty though I wouldn't mind a bit of gilded ganache so once again just in my outer corner buff her in that had absolutely no pigment on it what is happening where is my Ladies, don't raise their voice. Where is the pigment? Come on. Gatsby ain't gonna have a second look at us if we don't have a nice little pop in our eyes. Come on, pigment. You can do it. Come on. Where you at, baby cake? And then just for a bit more oomph, I am gonna be adding some of this NYX foreplay that I got for that NYX Face Awards thing that I did not win, that I didn't even get into the next round of. That's okay. I don't hold a grudge. Okay, maybe I hold a bit of a grudge. Why won't this open? Come on. I want to put you on my glorious eyelids, man. So I'm just dipping my brush in because I am rebellious. And I'm just going to once again dust that all Oh, Maybe I do need my flat brush. I'm just going to try and dust away some of the glitter. I think all my flat brushes have like some grinchiness to it. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some glitter into this little vial. Ooh, I do like that. Yes, thank you. Thank you. There is my pop. What is this called? What are you? You are French macaroon. Well, I'm a fancy lady. I can have champagne with my French macaroon. Damn, look at that. Okay, we're doing good now. Okay. People are just enjoying this accent so much. People feel so suave, so smooth. People feels like such a classy little lady. Everyone's always like, oh, peel off, you're too energetic, oh, peel off, blah, 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 blah. but like now peel off is like, oh, hey there, baby cakes, how you doing? Like, how can, how can you not resist, how can you resist peel off right now? Peel off, peel off forgot to put the lid on this thing and now, ah. peel off forgot to put the glitter back in the, all right, now that the top lids are done, we are just gonna go down with the bottom lids. So I think I'm just gonna be using some of this triple fudge. All these colors look disgusting. Okay, how about we go for some semi-sweet? All right, I'm just gonna get some semi-sweet on my brush. I'm just gonna line my bottom lashes and then I'm just gonna buff it out. This step, I cannot see on any of the beautiful ladies from way back when, but I feel almost naked if I don't like do something with my bottom lashes because like I just feel like makeup's look is almost like she's not fully cooked it's like a molten lava cake I'm like those are delicious don't get me wrong but i prefer myself a good like black forest cake okay so now that i got that i'm just gonna get one of the other brushes that already has some dark colors on it but that's all right and i'm just gonna get this color called milk chocolate and then I'm gonna get off some of that excess is what i am gonna do I'm just gonna try and buff her out just a little bit. I am actually really liking this look. Like I could, I could wear this out. I could wear this naturally. I just, I don't have any complaints oh. against. Excuse me, doll. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm just gonna get this other next thing called Bar in the Glow. It's like a highlighter, and I'm just gonna get this tiny, tiny brush. And I'm just gonna pop her in my inner corner. Give her a bit of a va va boom. All the colors I'm really using today, uh, along the yellowy, and I'm just gonna put her underneath my eyebrow as well. All the colors I'm using today are very much in the champagne, like goldy kind of family. So it doesn't matter if you don't have all the products that I have, because I have been like collecting my makeup collection for years now. Just as long as you can find yourself some champagne kind of colors, you can definitely recreate this. I don't know why you want to, but like for those who do, 
that is how you can do it. We are looking cute. I like this. Yes. Now that we got that going on, it's time to get to my eyeliner. So most lovely ladies from way back when, they do have eyeliner, but she is thin. She is small. She is cute. She is thin. That is typically not my vibe, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Now, right eye, you are my favorite baby cakes, and you know that. Left eye, you are going to be on your best behavior because ladies, they do not cuss. Ladies, they do not lose their temper. Ladies, keep it together. Come on, we are going back to a simpler time. So, if you are new to my channel, hello. Welcome to makeup. Welcome to the family. We have a lot of fun here. It's a bit chaotic at times, but you know what? That's all right. We just go for it. So, what I'm going to do is wear my top lid, mix my bottom lid. I'm just going to place this in there. I'm going to flick. I'm going to drag. I'm going to hope for best and hope that that all works out and all matches up and just looks nice fresh clean because nothing makes you feel like you can take on the world more than if you have a good sharp winged eyeliner it causes the most amount of stress but it just looks ever so fancy so you're gonna flick drag and we just fill in the rest and hope the left eye behaves today and matches up which that's gonna be an absolute miracle for that to work out so i managed to fix up my wings it was a little bit difficult today i think because like this foundation is just so slimy like and i'm saying that with my hair looking like this if i say that this foundation is slimier than my hair right now you know that it's an absolute time so to give a bit of volume to my lashes i'm just gonna get my guillotine and pinch together my actual lashes and try not to behead them like Anne Boleyn. i made that joke before but i still say it because i find it quite humorous just like my funny bone See, we educated. I'm gonna be putting on some eye feathers today because way back when, even though those beautiful ladies did not wear the eye feathers, and really, their lives were deprived in many ways than just the ones that people know about. They missed out on eye feathers, and really, that makes a makeup look. You could have the most busted kind of shading, the most busted kind of blending, all of that kind of stuff, but if you have a good pair of eye feathers on your eyes perfectly, that will make everything just look so much better. It's like a cute little magic trick that a lot of people don't want to tell you. Now that my lashes are done, I'm just going to be putting on my big blow away feathers because blowing away from the stupidity was more than these people wanted to do. The Great Depression wasn't the only kind of sadness that they were experiencing. Just going to wait for this glue to get tacky and then just like pop it on to my cute little eyelids. My cute little champagne pop of an eyelid right now. I just, I am loving this eye look. Is this just me? I just want it to dry. It is taking so long. Even though Pilaf is having a fun time acting like she is, she is a sophisticated baby cakes from the 1920s. I still have no patience for eye feathers. All right, this lash is looking nice and tacky. So with my pinchy boys, I'm just gonna stick her on above my actual lashes because I don't want to be tearing them off when I'm done. But like on the skin, but like close enough, like just create the illusion that they are my actual lashes. So I'm just gonna pop them on about there. Use these pinchy boys to maneuver them off my actual lashes and on my skin. Oh damn, she look cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Peel off. Look at us. Gatsby is just gonna eat us up. Gatsby? You mean THE Gatsby? Sorry, I'm feeling myself. Like, this is just... I really like this eye look. Why have I never gone for golds before? Why have I never just done shimmers all over? I just, I really vibed it. I just, claps, peel off, claps, pats on back. We are, we are just looking fat. I just, I just, I just love this look. I just, I'm not even finished yet. I just, this, I just, peel off looks so good. I look so sophisticated. I just, I, I just. If it wasn't for the homophobia, the racisms, and the like sexisms, like I would make me born in the 1920s. I look hot. I look, I look. I look tasty! I look so good! I'm so happy with this! Okay, now that that one... Sorry. Apologies. Now that that one is done, we are just gonna switch and we are gonna do the left eye because left eye has to feel the glory that is my right eye right now because right now, Gatsby is just gonna be eating me up, baby cakes. So while left eye feather is starting to get nice and tacky, I'm just gonna be cutting some time, baby cakes because I'm a busy lady. So I've just got myself a brow brush and I've just got myself one of those like brow cakes and I'm just gonna be filling in my brows. Usually I would do like a cute little fluffy duffy brow, but the women from way back when, they had some like nice cute thin brows, which like I vibe, don't get me wrong, they're just not my usual gig. So I'm just gonna be filling them in a teeny bit just to give them a bit more color, a bit more shape, a bit more life back into them. Please, ma'am, if you could hurry up your little tush, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm impatient. 
incredibly impatient. Screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on. I don't even care. Oh, she looking nice and full and sharp. Look at that. Yes. I love that. Now that our goggles are on, we are on our last steps, baby cakes. And I've been looking at a lot of photos on Mr. Google, and I can't really tell if they do contour or not, but I'm going to anyway, because without a bit of contour, I just look like a fancy potato. And like, that's, it's a vibe. It's just one that I don't really vibe with, if that makes sense. So I just do a cute little fish face. And put this on like my cheekbone kind of situation. Just a light dust. And then for our nose, just a flick. And a flick. Now that my cheeks are looking a bit more chiseled and we look a little bit less like a Mrs. Potato Head, which like, don't get me wrong, she cute. Don't get me wrong, she cute. She's still a goddess. At the same time, it's not how I like my face. One thing that I do see that those beautiful ladies do is they do have a lot of blush on. I'm not gonna be putting on heaps amounts of blush because I don't wanna look like I've been running a marathon because like, that ain't cute. I don't run for anything unless it's cake. So, I'm just gonna be going into my conspiracy palette because I don't actually own a blush. So, I'm just gonna be mixing the My Pill shade with the pigment shade. And then I am just going to be putting that on like the apples of my cheeks. So we're just gonna smile. If you know how to, which like, it's a little bit difficult for me. So I just gonna smile and I'm just gonna, just gonna buff that in just to give a little bit more color, just to give a little bit more. Hey, yes, we, you got me all flustered over here. You know what? That's all right, baby cakes. You can think that you have me all flustered and then I'll steal all your money while you ain't looking and you'll never suspect it's me because I'm just gonna be acting like a ditz the whole entire time. Oh my gosh, you're the great Gatsby. Oh my gosh, I am practically losing my breath at your actual image. That kind of thing. Talk them up. They'll never know the difference. Going back in with this Born to Grow Nicks kind of stuffs and I'm just gonna be popping those on my cheekbones up here just to give a bit more of a glow. Duck face. And then for the nose, just cute little doo-doo. Get yourself that little button nose. Doo doo, boo boo, dust her off. We are on our last step, so last step is just gonna be the lips. So looking at a lot of photos, they go for a big, bold red lip, which I am definitely down for. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna be using two different colors. This is definitely like a more of a plum kind of color, but we're gonna put that on the outside, then we're gonna be putting the red on the inside. I'm trying to blend them both together. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Just like that, we are done. Now that our eyes are looking champagne pop, beautiful, our lips are looking so red, so succulent. Our little borrowed earrings are really finishing off the look with the little dingle dangle bling that we going on. And because Pilaf is a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, there was only one thing left to do. And that is some sexy slow-mos. What in the world is that lash doing? Get back with your brothers and sisters. Oh my God, get back on my face. Did I tell you to look busted? I don't think so. But you just gonna do that anyway. Right eye, you're supposed to be the good child. You're supposed to be the one that I'll give supper to if they're behaving. But now that our face is made for the high heavens, we are definitely welcoming the new decade with an absolute party. Look at, I just, look at all this absolute glory. I just, I, I can't even, I, I just, I just can't even look at, I look so good. Why have I never done this look before? I just, I, I actually like, I really like this. I just, natural, like it's, it's kind of natural glam. I don't know what to, I just, I don't know what to call this, but it, it looks good. It's something very different for peel off, but I really like it. I just, I'm questioning my whole entire reality. We did such a good job. Get on back. Peel off, dance party, peel off. I just, mm, I just, I did so good. I'm so happy with this. Like, granted, the like finger wave thing that I tried to do, she looks a little bit. <laughs> Don't look at the back. <laughs> Whoops. Don't look there, but like, I just like th this. I vibe. I really, I really like that. I really, I just. Peel off is powerful. Peel off, peel off feels as though this is her shield, these are her daggers. Fight her. I just, I feel so powerful. I just, 2020 is my year. 2020 is your year. 2020 is our year. Just like, I, I just hope that you feel like this level of like, oh my gosh, that I am feeling right now. Because like, it is, it is intoxicating. I just, I just love, where was I? Peel off, peel off was saying something is like fancy, fancy goddess. Ah, okay. 
But now that all this glorious makeup is on and we have welcomed ourselves into the new decade with an absolute party, may I say, because we are looking ever so fabulous, ever so juicy, ever so irresistible. But now that I've done all the makeups and sexy slow mos are done, there's nothing left to do. That's it for today's video. But no matter how you say goodbye to the old decade and welcome to the new one, whether you have makeup on or makeup off, no matter whether you spent it with people or without people, just know that this is your year. This is our year. We are going to celebrate it together. We are going to grow and be successful together. And while we are out there in the world showing them how amazing we are, how stunning we are, and how much of a force to be reckoned with we are, do not forget what dear mother always say. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.